hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video from the officer tatum and it's titled news anchor exposes tim watts get my caught on live tv you guys i'm excited for this if you're here to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what the officer tatum has for us in this video and you know that he's actually using you to put out his message that I want to debate. He doesn't want. This should make every American infuriated. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. People love this shirt. We have it in the gold, uh, the red, white, and blue. And then we also have the hoodie version because it's hoodie season. It is the season to put on a hoodie in many places. Not in Arizona because it's still 115 degrees outside. But if you want the hoodie, any of that, discount code only for today or it ends today. Labor Day 30, 30% 30 off the whole store. Not just this product, but everything we got on the store. Our flags are off the chain. I got a big old flag over there. Get it 30% off only today at the end of, uh, at midnight uh, on West Coast time. So y'all got like 3 a.m. on the East Coast. Midnight West Coast time. Uh, we cutting off the sale. So you better get it now. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, this video just really grind my gears, man. You know, the media... If you talk to somebody on the street, random person on the street, right? I, I would be more inclined to believe that they're going to say, oh, no, the media is fair. You know, for the most part, media is fair. On oh, Fox News is the only one not fair. But when you look at what they actually do, you should see or be convinced at this point, especially when I show you this collage video, this, this compilation of like the media literally shilling for the Democrat Party. This dude got on TV, local news. I think this is in Wisconsin, somewhere. Local news. He starts telling the truth about Tim Waltz, and they cut the feed. Look, bro, like, like you, you can't tell me that. Wow. Coincidentally, they had a, they were having a conversation. It didn't cut at the beginning. It didn't cut midway through. It cut after he started ripping into Tim Waltz and telling the truth about his campaign and how he's playing the media. In the cut, it just go blank. We've uh -huh. seen this happen a ton of times. Somebody's on talking about Jesus Christ on TV and then it goes blank. Oh, I'm sorry we lost him. Oh, oh his audio is bad. Hmm. I'm not stupid. I know how this stuff works. I got a whole team of people. We do video editing all the time. I've been a part of studio. Stuff just don't cut like that. It just yeah. don't cut like that. The feed from the host just don't cut, and 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 the and, the, and the, or the feed from the guest just doesn't cut, and the host is unimpeded. And that person's uh, uh, content wasn't sketchy at first. It was it was complete clean cut footage. The stream was clean, and then it cut. That mean they just ended the feed. That's yeah. what they do. Mm -hmm. And let me show you this video. Every American should be peed off. At the fact that they're trying to lie to us and deceive us through pop propaganda. And while you're watching this, I want you to consider if this was someone saying something positive about Trump or the media covering for Trump, do you do you can you imagine that happening? Rhoda. The governor has agreed to a debate on October 28th. You're not thrilled about that. As me, you and I both know that that's a sham. Early voting starts in less than three weeks. Come on. What's happening is Tim Walls wants to have one debate as late as he can, potentially after 50% of Minnesotans have voted, and say, see, all the major news programs understand that I've had a debate. At this time, four years ago, Tim Walls had participated in four debates. He's absolutely been shutting them down. He wants to do this one debate so far into it, just before Halloween, and you know that he's actually using you to put out his message that I want to debate. He doesn't want <laughs> <laughs> Am I wow. tripping? The feed just cut. Somebody's recording this from that TV. This mm -hmm. don't look like they changed the channel or nothing like this. This look like a glitch yeah. where the feed is cut. They just they lose the feed. People to hear the truth. Look at this. 
looks like we lost that feed right there. You were just hearing from Dr. Scott. How do you lose that feed and then she pops up and, and just with, with clear um, footage? I, 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 I don't, it was no warning. It was no nothing. It just cut. And, and it happened to cut right when he's talking about Tim Walls. Yeah. Looks like we lost that. You guys, what are your thoughts on this video? This right here says a lot because this mainstream media didn't know what this man was about to say. And they don't want the world to hear it. They don't want the world to hear the truth from somebody else's mouth. Hence, they decided to cut him off on live TV. This is insane. I don't even know what to say, but at least a lot of Americans should know that something is fishy. Something is really, really not right. When it comes to the Democrat, but let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below and let's continue watching you guys. Right there, you were just hearing from Dr. Scott Jensen and we're going to continue to update you online on this ongoing election. Okay, there is a new round of COVID boosters. Candidates don't need us as journalists. And then here's the, here's the second part. This should also make you upset. Kamala Harris has been dodging the media and the media is now advocating that she dodged them. You know how stupid that is? Like, like none of these women or people on the television should be saying this about Kamala Harris. They should be challenging Kamala Harris. They should be challenging these political candidates. It's a vibes campaign. Just watch when I play the video. It's a hundred people saying the vibes, the vibe, like they're reading the same script. It's a vibe campaign. It's a vibe campaign. They should be saying, F this vibe campaign. This is about policy. It's not about vibes. We don't need vibes. The economy is going to crap. There's wars everywhere. We don't need your vibes. We need your policy. Donald Trump, what is your policy? Kamala, what is your policy? But, but instead, look at what they, I, I, God is my witness. I'll put this on my life. If Donald Trump was avoiding the media, they'd be bashing him every day on TV. Mm -hmm. They'd be bashing him up, right, left, center, and saying, yes, why is he not talking to the media? He got something to hide. His taxes, felon. I mean, they'd be all in it. But then Kamala Harris dodges and they like, yeah, you know what? That's right. You know, she don't really need to do an interview with us. It's not even necessary. What? This is what you telling American people is not necessary. That means your network is not necessary. Not the road. Journalists to get their message out. They don't anymore in this ecosystem. In the media, we're preoccupied with like how much access, how many conversations is she going to have? I don't know how much that matters. There is risk in talking to us. There's no doubt about that. Then you hear the criticism. Oh, she has to do more interviews. She has to talk about policy. Insiders you're speaking to, they're sort of like, no. Yeah. Absolutely not. <laughs> As a campaign hack, <laughs> no. And I love you all, but sh I don't want her talking to you all right now. Remember what Elizabeth Warren did when she ran back in 2020? She had a white paper for every policy position under the sun and what happened she collapsed in the primary so yeah so they're pretty much telling you to let them trick you yeah this is what they're saying this is the news this, this is impartial allegedly impartial news telling you that it's a it's a strategy and they're glorifying the strategy to just let her trick you with emotions and mm -hmm. not put a policy position out because it may make her it may hurt her campaign. Yeah. Well, if your policies are hurting your campaign, you're not the president. You're not the person for the job. Hmm. But 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 they're advocating for this. They're, they're, they're laughing. And they're giddy about the fact that she can probably coast through this thing on vibes with no policy position. And that's good for her campaign. I believe that perhaps you put more ideas on paper, that's a bad idea. The more details you share, the more your policies are going to get picked apart. Harris has changed this from being a policy election and more of like a movement, a cultural vibes. movement. It's a vibes election. Right, it's, yeah. That's right. Policy vibes. Mm -hmm. Vibes election? It's a vibes election. This uh, vibes election that we're all feeling right now. It already felt like a vibes election before. Most elections are vibes elections. I think every election, frankly, is a vibes election. And I think there are really only two vibes that matter in American politics. One is hope and joy, and the other is fear and anger. Why, why are all these networks at different times saying vibes election, vibes election? They use the words vibes election. It, it, like when people, they call you conspiracy theorists if you say that these things are staged, that these, the, these things are, 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 are scripted, mm -hmm. that they get an a, a email and all these outlets are told what to say on a yeah. script. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is what they're doing.
They're, manufa- they're, they're manufacturing a conversation. I would never use the word vibes when it comes to Kamala Harris's election uh, yeah. run. It, or not election run, but campaign run. It, vibes wouldn't be the first word that come to my mind. Why is vibes the first thing that come to all these people's minds? Well, one, because it didn't go to their minds. It, it, it's, a, it's propaganda. Yeah. You guys, what are your thoughts on this video? Of Tom is right. These mainstream media are definitely pushing a propaganda because I don't know how all of them are using the same word vibes except they really really got an image to use that certain word but let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below what are your thoughts do you think kamala harris not going for interviews is her tactics of winning this election i really want to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below and let's wrap this video up you guys and and it's crazy to me man they do nothing but negative talk donald trump every day seven days a week And then they only talk positive about Kamala Harris and they try to act like they're actually news. I I, I got this app that I scroll through to look at news articles. And every time I go at one of these left wing news outlets, it's always something crazy negative about Trump. It's always something incredibly negative. I have never seen them say anything positive about Donald Trump. It's always something crazy and negative. They always turn everything Trump does into something negative. Donald Trump photo op at fallen officers think I mean uh for the soldiers who lost their lives in Afghanistan that debacle they don't talk about the debacle they they don't make it about the families they make it about Donald Trump being there and that he was doing a photo op and the family come out and say no he wasn't we invited him there we wanted him to take those pictures and they don't retract it they don't say nothing they just act like it never they move on to the next lie project 2025 Just like people got sued for saying that the Dominion voting machines were rigged, just like got their socks sued off, Donald Trump should be able to sue these people for the Project 2025. Mm -hmm. It's election interference for one. For two, it's a flat out lie. That's defamation. Saying that he's associated with a document he's he's not associated with. They know he's not associated with it because the authors that are on the document have their names listed. And the people who authored the document said he don't have nothing to do with it. Then he said he don't have nothing to do with it. But they steady go on the DNC and put this big book out called Project 2025. And they're claiming that Donald Trump is a part of that. That's defamation. Exactly. And when the media does it, it's complete propaganda and election interference. That's like making up some document of, of, of murdering kids or something. And you say Kamala Harris is associated with this. That no, If she's not associated with it, you shouldn't be saying that. They should be able to sue the F out of you. But in the world we live in, this is normal. Your mom, your grandma and them watching this stuff every day and thinking that the people tell you the truth. I'll tell y'all this. I don't think Kamala Harris has a lead on Donald Trump in any form or fashion. I, I think that they're, po- they're, they're not polling people accurately. They're double polling Democrats like they were doing in 2016. What they're trying to do is they're trying to create this momentum, manufacture momentum, so that Kamala Harris appears to be popular Therefore, it would detract people from voting for Donald Trump because they're going to try to hit him with more felonies and indictment. And, and, and they feel like, oh, it's already over because Kamala Harris is going to take this thing. Yeah, this is what they're trying to recreate. They're trying to give her that momentum. So you so people don't actually pay attention to her policy positions. And then she don't talk about anything that have to do with policy specifically. She had these people rumor out policies and see how they land. Like they rumored out that Jewish guy as the VP candidate. Hmm. And then when, when, when the radicals came out against him because he's a Jew, then, then they, they abandoned him and went to Tim Waltz. They put these positions out about uh, capital gains. That can't be a rational person in America think you should double capital gains tax and add capital gains tax on unrealized gains. Ain't no human being is that stupid. It shouldn't yeah. be. They float that out there. They float some abortion stuff out there. They float immigration stuff out there to see what people like. And then they, that's what their campaign slogan is. That's what she's going to put on her website. It's crazy to me, man. We, I was at the gym talking about this. It's crazy to me. These people are so evil and fake. It's crazy. I don't know how people don't see through this mess. It, anyway, I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out of here. Wow, you guys, that was such an interesting one for the officer Tatum. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below. This was very, very 
insightful and i hope that a lot of americans are actually listening in order for them to know the right party to vote for because a lot is wrong with the democrat party and like officer tatum said i don't know why people are not saying through that shit because there's a lot that is wrong with this party and leave your thoughts in the comment section down below i really enjoyed every minute of this video and i believe you guys also enjoyed watching if you did enjoy watching give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and i'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.